Today, I'm going to show you Google's brand new AI Studio build mode updates that are absolutely game-changing for anyone building apps. This thing just got a massive upgrade, and it's now better than Cursor, Bolt, and even Claude Artifacts. We're talking about GitHub integration, Angular support, and a completely redesigned interface. Plus, I'll show you exactly how to build a full React app in under 60 seconds. This is free, it's powerful, and most people have no idea it even exists. So let's dive in. Now, before we jump in, I need to tell you something crazy. I've been using Google AI Studio's build mode for months now. It's pretty much been my secret weapon for building apps fast. But these new updates, they just changed everything. Most people are still stuck using expensive tools like Cursor or waiting for Cloud Artifacts to actually work properly. Meanwhile, Google just dropped the most powerful free app builder on the planet and barely anybody knows about it. So while everyone's talking about ChatGPT Canvas or Gemini's regular chat features, Google quietly built something that destroys all of them. We're talking about a full React development environment for free with AI that actually understands how to code. So what exactly is build mode? Just think of it like this. You know how Bolt.new or Lovable lets you build apps from single prompts? Well, build mode does the same thing, but it's specifically built for apps that use Google's Gemini API. And here's the crazy part. You can ask it to build something like an image generator tool, and it will seamlessly add the Gemini API into your app. No setup, no API keys to configure. It just works. But here's what most people don't know. You can also tell it to ignore Gemini completely and just build regular standalone apps. The AI behind this is Gemini. Gemini 2.5 Pro, and it's running 24-7 and is completely free. And so while people are paying ChatGPT Plus fees or Cloud Pro subscriptions, you are getting enterprise-level AI coding for $0. Now, let me show you what's new. First thing you'll notice when you open build mode is that they added a ton of pre-made templates. We're talking about ready-to-go apps that you can customize in seconds. If you're building AI-related apps, this is gold. You can get complex integrations set up without writing a single line of code. But here's where it gets really interesting. See that settings icon in the prompt box? That is new. Click it and you get a sidebar that lets you select different models. So right now it's just 2.5 Pro, but they are clearly preparing for Gemini 3.5 Flash and that's gonna be a total game changer when it drops. Then you've got the framework selector and this is huge because they just added Angular support. Now I know you're thinking Angular really, but here's the thing. Google owns Angular, and they use it for a ton of their apps. So if you're an Angular developer, this just became your new best friend. Most people don't use Angular much these days because React is king, but having the option means that Google is serious about making this a real development platform, not just a toy. The file upload feature was already there. You can add images, documents, and even full product requirement specs. The AI will read through everything and build exactly what you want. It's like having a senior developer who never gets tired and pretty much just works for free. Now, let me show you something cool. I'm gonna ask it to build a classic game of Pong where Gemini plays as the second player. Watch what happens. The first thing that you'll see is the new loading interface. It's not just a spinning wheel anymore. You get this cool interactive view where you can actually watch the AI plan out your entire project step by step. It shows you the file structure, the components it's going to build, even the logic flow. This might seem like a small thing, but it's actually huge because you can actually see how the AI thinks. You understand the architecture before it even starts coding. If something looks wrong, you can stop it and and then adjust. Then it just starts writing code and you can watch every file get created in real time. And this is where it gets scary good. We're talking about full React components, proper state management, clean CSS, even error handling, all generated in under a minute. Look at this, the game works perfectly, the AI integration is seamless, you don't need to set up API keys or configure anything, it just works out of the box. But Here's the biggest change. The interface is completely redesigned. Before, you had the editor in the center and a tiny preview on the right. It felt cramped and bad, but now it's split into two clean tabs, code and preview. This is brilliant because both sections now use the full screen space. You can focus on code without distractions and then you flip over to preview and see your app in all of its glory. The editor has new settings too, text wrapping, code minimaps, syntax highlighting options. It feels like a real IDE now. But here's the feature that really blew my mind. GitHub integration. This wasn't available before, and it changes everything. You can now sync your projects directly to GitHub, not just download it, actually sync it. This is massive for anyone building real apps. You create your project in build mode, hit the GitHub button, and boom, it creates a repository for you automatically. You can choose public or private, and then every time you make changes, you can commit them with proper commit messages. The AI even generates commit messages for you. 
Just hit tab and it fills in something like add user authentication component or fix responsive layout issues. These aren't generic messages either. They actually describe what changed. Once it's committed, you can clone it anywhere. Link it to Versal for auto deployment, set up CI CD pipelines. This isn't just a prototype tool anymore. It's a full development workflow. You still have the download and copy options if you want to work locally. Plus, the share feature lets you send a working app to anyone instantly. No deployment needed. They just click the link and they start using your app. There are smaller updates too that make a big difference. So drag and drop support for organizing files into folders, a suggestions panel that gives you ideas for improving your project, even better error handling and debugging tools. But here's what really matters. This thing feels fast now, like really fast. I don't know if they optimized the prompts or upgraded the infrastructure, but everything happens instantly. No more waiting around for basic changes. The code quality is better too. Cleaner components, better separation of concerns, proper TypeScript support. It's like they trained the AI on real production code bases instead of tutorial projects. But here's what most people don't realize. This isn't just another AI toy. Google is positioning this as a serious development platform. They are competing directly with GitHub Copilot, Cursor, and all the expensive AI coding tools, but they're doing it for free, and that should scare the competition. When Google decides to give away something this powerful for free, it usually means they are planning something much bigger. Think about it. Gmail was free and killed paid email services. Google Docs was free and took on Microsoft Office. Chrome was free and dominated browsers. Now, build mode is free, and it's coming for the entire AI coding market. The best part? It's not trying to replace developers. It's making development accessible to everyone. You don't need to know React hooks or understand Webpack configurations. You just describe what you want, and it builds it. But if you are a developer, it speeds up your workflow by 10x. So instead of spending hours setting up boilerplate code, you generate it in seconds, and then you focus on the interesting parts, the business logic, the unique features, the stuff that actually matters. And I've been testing this against other tools too. Cursor is good, but you need to pay for the good models. Claude Artifacts breaks half the time and has weird limitations. ChatGPT Canvas is okay for simple stuff, but falls apart on complex projects. Build mode just works every time, and it keeps getting better. Google has the infrastructure to support millions of users without slowdowns. They have the data to train better models, and they have the motivation to crush the competition. So here's what I predict happens next. More frameworks get added, Python support for backend development, database integrations, maybe even mobile app support through React Native. Google isn't just building a coding assistant, they are building a complete development ecosystem, and they're giving it away to get market share. So should you be using this? Absolutely. Whether you're a complete beginner or a senior developer, it doesn't matter, because build mode saves you time and helps you build better apps, and it's free. So if you're new to coding, this is your gateway drug. Just start with simple projects, build a calculator, make a to-do app, watch how the AI structures the code, and learn from it. Before you know it, you'll understand React better than most boot camp graduates. But if you're experienced, of course, use this to prototype fast. Test out ideas in minutes instead of hours, build MVPs for clients, handle the boring setup work so that you can focus on the fun stuff. Either way, you win. You get access to cutting edge AI for free, you build real apps that work, and you stay ahead of everyone else who's stuck with old tools. But here's another thing that nobody talks about. Tools like this are changing how we think about software development in general. We're moving from learning code to learning to prompt. The future developer won't memorize syntax, they're gonna master communication with AI. This shift is happening fast. Companies are already hiring AI prompt engineers for six-figure salaries, so knowing how to work with AI coding tools is becoming more valuable than knowing specific programming languages. Build mode is the perfect place to develop these skills. The AI is smart enough to understand complex requests, but forgiving enough for beginners. You can experiment without fear of breaking anything. And since it's free, there's obviously no barrier to entry. You don't need to convince your boss to buy licenses, and you don't need to worry about subscription costs. You can just start building. The only downside is not enough people know about this yet. So while everyone's arguing about ChatGPT versus Claude, Google is quietly building the future of app development and they're, again, giving it away for free. So that obviously won't last forever. Eventually, they're going to add premium tiers with advanced features. They're going to start charging for commercial use, and they're going to limit the free tier like they did with other services. But right now, like today, you can access the full power of this platform for zero dollars, and that's obviously pretty insane value. Any single app that you build with this could be worth thousands of dollars, and you're getting the tools right here for free. It's crazy. 
Anyway, that's it for today. Make sure to comment below and let me know what you think about these Google AI Studio updates. And if you found this valuable, smash that subscribe button because I am bringing you the latest AI updates every single week. So I'll see you in the next one.